Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a, another video. Welcome back to the main account. I'm playing Lulu as per request from my Zeri. I wanted to play a jungle game, but it gave me support. Bit of a spicy game, some kind of crazy picks. You got Lilia Top, which I've not seen in a while. Oh, I just noticed those two's names. Open top already, open mid went. So that's a duo queue. You know what triggers me the most about that? I don't know if anybody's the same as me. None of it's capitalized. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> Does anybody else get weirded out by that? Like, please, I want that to be capitalized. Oh. Oh. Like, back on World of Warcraft days, when I used to see clan tags that weren't capitalized, I was like, no. I literally wouldn't join a guild if their name wasn't capitalized. Oh. Luckily for 95% of my World of Warcraft play was part of the same guild. My original WoW guild that I first joined was called Moo Moo, as in the cow. That backfired on them. Pay attention to his health. Anyway, uh, yeah, my first WoW guild was Diablo. Um, Jesus Christ, a red chat. My first ever guild in WoW was called Moo Moo. We got to be careful of Shaco. Uh, then after that, I joined a guild. I can't remember what it was called. It was something about like darkness or something. Oh, we're going to be ganked by Shaco, like 100% guaranteed. I'm going to go W second, which I know is a bit weird, but it's to basically instantly polymorph the Shaco if he tries to kill the Zeri. Uh, and then after I was part of whatever guild that was, something Dark Side or something like that, I then joined basically my forever guild in World of Warcraft. It was called... Unknown Error. I was in Unknown Error for basically 10 years. Wow. And I started. And there's the Shaco gank we were expecting, but it was actually just kind of late. Nice. We survive even the Shaco gank. Perfecto. As so yeah, then I was in Unknown Error for 10 plus years. Started in the guild as an absolute noob. Like, my first raid with that guild was Nax Ramus. And, like, I literally used to... Uh... I mean, that's still pretty good for us. Uh, their, their jungler has died. That's not that bad. Um, but yeah, I, my first raid was Nax Ramus, and I basically got a nickname very early. I was a warrior originally. I had spirit on my gear when I was raiding initially as a warrior. Um, so yes, I was Huzzy the spirit warrior for a time. Those that are like, is that bad? Yes, that's very bad. Spirit was a mana regeneration stat at the time. And uh, so yeah, when you're, when you're having that as a warrior who doesn't have mana, uh, yeah, quite bad. And then eventually I progressed from being pretty much the worst raider in the guild, probably quite easily, to eventually being the guild leader of the guild. Literally, I became uh, eventually, probably about eight years later, I eventually became the guild leader of Unknown Era. I was the raid leader. Event I, I keep saying eventually. I joined that guild, I'd want to say, when I was about 13 or so years old. I then started raid leading when I was... 14 years old um so i was literally raid leading when i was 14 and i was like telling 40 year olds off you know my bad so it's where like i do think i actually got quite a lot of maturity from a young age because i was telling 40 something year old men off when i was 14 gives you quite a lot of confidence 
Hey, Wind Fang. Um, yeah. I think my first ever raid that I was raid leading in. It might have just. I think it was ICC. I think. Did you fight up? Yeah, I do miss World of Warcraft. I really do. I know a lot of my World of Warcraft like nostalgia is more tied to. Ooh, that's a Shaco in our jungle. Yeah, my um, my World of Warcraft time and memories and stuff of like the really good times is more linked to the people involved. Shaco's gonna go but away from me. Gonna hit six and instantly goes for all in. Go on, Galio lad. Nice. Oh my god, he beat him. Let's go. Yana got cocky hitting level six and just went for an all in and got killed under tower. Nice. Good exhaust by the Galio. It kind of half feels like the enemy bot lane is like AFK typing to each other. Does anybody else get that? Zero three Lilia top. Ouch. See, one of the duo, one of the um, negatives of duoing, I will say, that isn't really ever spoken about, is all about mental. Lol, they just got owned. Um, what I was basically, it's something that I think a lot of people don't think about when they do duo. When your duo partner is 0-3, the likelihood of it being kind of negative or in comms is actually quite high. You know, you don't have that bubbliness that, you know, when you're playing good with friends, you get that bubbliness and stuff. That, I would say, disappears really fast when your duo is doing bad. So she's 0-3, she's 0-1. It does hurt you a bit in that way. Don't get me wrong. It's still an overall positive to duo over than solo but there are negatives to duo as well yeah someone said i think in chat when i was talking about what i walk i've never played guild wars yes i played guild wars 2 not amazing um i never did any raids or anything it was just more about leveling and having fun in the world and doing world bosses like, I literally hit max level a couple times and then didn't do anything. Because I would say it was quite a confusing game to work out actually what to do when you hit max level. Like, it wasn't obvious what to do, at least for me. Yeah, there's been a lot of Kled and Kindred today. I'd say those two champions, I don't know why, but we have seen a lot. I got that. I literally got that from Summon Airy. Are you serious? I got that from Summon Airy, man. I don't know what the enemy bot lane is really doing. They don't have much. To be fair, Samira and uh, Zillion basically have absolutely no synergy with each other whatsoever. Oh god! Oh, this Lily is getting destroyed. Nice. She jumped out of the tower at the correct time, otherwise she could have got killed. I didn't kill Steel. I'm buying a Dark Seal. Wee! Hey, Bouncy Barons! Oh, what a crazy day today. Holy moly. Again, a special shout out once again to Artificial Panda. $500 donation and then 25 gifted subs. Like, what is that about? Why are you giving me the kills? 
Take the kill! Uh. I mean, it helps on my dark seal. TK Mockingbird, thank you so much, my dude. Hope you're doing amazing. Yeah, I can quite easily say the Samira is tilted. I think we can safely say that. You just used your bombs. Just wait it out now. Why, Zeri? Wait, what? Oh. I think Zeri kind of played that a bit sloppy because that's a bit cocky, what the Zeri just did. Uh, just be, again, it looks like a free win, 0 4 0 5, but don't, I don't know, like, don't play like that. That was basically near trolling what the Zeri just did. Uh. Again, I think it's fine. But like still, don't play a game is completely free until it's free, you know? Does that make sense? Yeah, because honestly, Zeri might have just stopped doing damage there to give me the kill. I don't know why she keeps trying to give me kills, but maybe that's what just happened. Because it did... What are you doing? A top laner is no longer top. <laughs> You're going for an all-in on me! <laughs> Oh, that's a tilted, uh... Uh... Guys. What? Kill her, please! Why'd you let me die, though? Why did they let me die? The moment I buy Dark Seal, I die twice. Yeah, her gold, to be fair, did just get reset. So. Technically, that's not that bad. <laughs> so, no, I, I never buy Magi, because whenever I buy Magi, I just get cursed and I die millions of times from then on. I could be 20 and 0 most fed I've ever been and then I buy Magi and I'll be 20 and 20 before I know it it's cursed it's that one wait it's this one We gotta be careful, ma'am. We're half trolling now. People, like, this is what happens when you start stomping, is people get so cocky thinking the game's over, and then they start playing wrong. The Zeri's done it, and now the Kled's done it. Keep playing to win. Like, don't let off, you know? It's how you get them back into the game. And like they've got strong champions. They've got Kiana, Lilia, Samira. They're all strong champs. So getting them back in the game, they can win. If you get them back in the game. How does Dustblade work now? When you get a, a kill, you then become untargetable. Like you can still get hit by abilities, but you just can't be targeted. Samira is very weak, to be fair.
on a path that way. Jaco must be top lane. Why did Lilia do that? That seemed odd. I'm ready for the shaker. I said I was ready for the shaker. I'm not ready for the Kiana, apparently. I'm alive. Not even close, baby. Hello? they didn't die there oh i have heard about this bug oh is are they abusing the bug mm. so apparently there's a bug at the moment with both kiana and katarina surprise surprise uh that they're bugged with dusk blade and makes them stupidly op and it's a bug right i've con have confirmed it's a bug i don't 100 know what the bug is but it's something about making them do either insane damage or makes them even more untargetable or is it Samira? Oh, I thought it was Kiana. Oh, apparently it's Samira. So Samira's not doing it? But yeah, Katarina's one of them. Again, surprise, surprise. Problematic champions will always be problematic. See, apparently it makes them untargetable and invisible while they're ultimating. That's mad. I don't think they can hot fix it. It's going to have to wait till the uh, patch. I am buying Mikhail's, by the way, for my Zeri. He requested me, one, to play Lulu, and two, to get Mikhail second. Basically means she didn't have to go cleanse, because obviously Ghost is very good. Yada's actually managed to get really strong. Yeah, no. No, Master. I think obviously the bug. If it's Samira and Katarina, obviously they have very, very similar ulties. It will be to do with um, the spinny spin spin. the whole enemy team. Oh, she has... Wow, she's going to have a three item power spike. That's the big power spike for Zeri is the three. We can just do Baron on spawn, I guess. Don't have any wards though.
Lilia went ignite. Not well. She's two and ten. Whoa. She's having a bad game. We're alive. On well, the old sea knock up. There we go. The fact that we all nearly died to one Kiana is insane. Wow. They got wrecked. Esu! Well, I didn't even think the enemy team was... Wait, what? He's got the wrong item, doesn't he? I think, obviously, last patch, the item was OP, but everybody's now just going Dusk Blade. So I think Shaco should be having Dust Blade, to be fair. Yeah, that was a good Kindred ult team. Bad flash play by Kiana. <laughs> what was that? In GG. There we go. Nice. Oh. Oh. That was a pretty smooth, simple game. Shelly dance site. Was that like a really quick game? I'm going to give it to the uh, Galio. I think he played pretty good. Only plus 24. Man. That sucks. I did more damage than Kindred. And she was 6-0. and oh. Wow. Did more damage than Shaco. Nearly do more damage than Zillion. Kiana did the most damage in the game. The enemy team are getting stomped, and Kiana does the most damage. That champion's crazy. All right. Boom. Whoa, we are in duo Q land. Jesus. Look at this. So we knew those two are duo by their name. Okay, that kind of explains why the Samira wasn't very good. It's a, it, was, it was one of the level 30 accounts. Eey. And then my whole team's duo. I was the only non-duo on my team. So Kled was duo with Zeri, because they have the 2-2. Two -two. And then the Kindred was duo with the Galio. I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've seen, like, a lot of duo like that. Oosh. So he's a smurf. Uh, okay, so the Zeri and the Kled are fresh accounts, but the Zeri does have 600 games on it, which is a lot. I'd presume that player... You know, someone doesn't start playing League, play 600 games, and instantly is in Diamond. So that's probably someone's alt account, or they got banned on their main account. And now he's doing with a fresh Kled. So maybe they're a bit stuck in Diamond 2, 3, and they're doing with a fresh, fresh account to try and go up to D1 or Master. Because just reminding everybody, you pretty much can do Master promo still in Duo. Unless you get absolute Master MMR, you can't Duo then now but if you don't have technical master mmr you could have diamond one at mmr get in master promo and you could still duo in your master promo i don't think it should be allowed to do master promo in duo because master has a rank you're not allowed to duo but yeah but there we go not bad i'll take that a uh, bit of a well a crazy fiesta game obviously the samira got tilted and both of these two just seem, ah, seem to be uh typing to each other by the look of it Zarephus says, don't forget to slap that like button. There you go. Anyway, that's going to be it. Pretty nice game. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory.